Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. This is Renegades React, and we will be reacting to another Honest Trailers from the Screen Junkies. Yep. <laughs> uh, this time, Watchmen. Oh, oh, man. Okay. We're all affirmed with this film. Mm -hmm. Watchmen's real good. I liked it a lot. Uh, I, I will actually go so far as to say that I think in some way, some of the changes improved on the graphic novel a little bit. Okay. Okay, wait. Which brain alien monster thank thing? Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yes. It was dumb. I am right there with you 100%. Brain alien I, tentacle monster yeah. weird? Just, the ending in the movie made so much more sense. In terms of filmmaking, I, yes, 100%. I, I agree. Think, I think it fit Ozymandias' character more than... You know, yes. you know whose change that was? Whose was it? David Hayter. That was one of the changes that he contributed to it. Hmm. Solid Snake himself. Uh, Solid Snake saving the world again. Uh, Watch Metal man. Gear. No brain alien. No, it's so good. Like, that change... Perfect. Yeah. It it greatly improved the movie. Uh, because I was sitting yeah. here going, I don't think this brain alien thing's going to work. I oh. mean, because honestly, if there's one thing, it's like after pulling off Dr. Manhattan, it's just going to jump the shark. It's man, brain alien thing. Yeah. Which, which Watchmen did, and in comic book form, it works. But in terms of film... I don't think it works. No, no, because there's some things you can get away with on film. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, there's a certain way you can pull out the Green Lantern on film. How they tried to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they've made fun of that to endless degrees. <laughs> Just don't make the suit green. Or, or animated. animated. <laughs> yeah. it yes. Such a good bit. And, and also, in the, so also in the opening, in the opening as well. You know, the little wallet picture with, yeah, with it in there. Yeah. I was just like, yes! There were so well. many little touches to that, and I'm like... <laughs> it, it's actually... <laughs> that's really funny to me on a personal level, because one of my other really good friends, like his absolute be-all, end-all favorite Mar DC is like the, the Green, Green Lantern. Lantern. Hal Jordan. Well, actually, I guess he's more of a Kyle Rayner fan, but <laughs> Kyle Rayner's never getting a movie. No, um, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty And uh, he's just like, we were talking about DC's run of movies. He's like... I just really wanted him to stay away from the Green Lantern. <laughs> he's like, not again. <laughs> he's like, he's like, <laughs> yes. Like, he's just like, buddy, I can't handle it. I can't. I was like, I know, I know. It's gonna be yeah. Fun. It's it's unfortunate the the handling of a uh, Green oh, Lantern. Oh yeah. That that was how it was put. Ooh. Oh gosh. Ooh. I mean, you can't blame Ryan Reynolds. I mean, and that's no. what, everyone everyone wanted to blame him for the death uh, for the character deaths of dead of Deadpool and Green Lantern. But Deadpool wasn't his fault and neither was Green Lantern. And he fixed Deadpool. Yes. He fixed He fixed De Deadpool. He, he fought to fix Deadpool for like for, 10 years. Yes. And, and was, he did it. And Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick were right alongside him. It's like this is the movie we want to make. Did you know that before the film was officially finished, the the uh, 20th Century Fox actually took away another seven million dollars because they said, "Oh, the the cut we saw the film, we don't have faith in it." Really? So yeah. So the the budget was originally sixty million, and then they cut it down to fifty three million, uh, and thus they had to cut out more of the film. Uh, they had to cut out some of the special effects shots. But the amount of money that that film has made alone, yeah, versus what they spent on it. And it didn't have that good of promotion work either. Not really, no. Well, I mean, Ryan Reynolds did tremendous work by himself. Like yeah. yeah. And according to what I've heard, people, you know, they were still debating who actually released the, the footage from Comic-Con that made the internet just explode yeah. with with anticipation. For oh, this. It, it was Deadpool. No, well, it, it was, was Deadpool. Well, it was, Deadpool. was it, according to what I hear, it was Rhett Reese, uh, one of the one of the screenwriters. No, actually Deadpool. Well, no, like really actually. Real actual, actual Deadpool. Actual Deadpool. Real I wouldn't actual. doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it yeah. for a second. Um, that being said, I don't know how we got there. Um, I do. On I absolutely know Comic books. How we did. Watchmen. Comic All books. right. Do the thing. Doing the thing. Also, this movie was visually stunning. Yeah. You're not and wrong. I, I'm not talking about Silk Spectre. I'm talking about visually. This no, movie like was even on even point. with the full frontal dudity. Yeah. Before this Zack movie was Snyder on turned one of the most universally beloved comics of all time into a completely polarizing movie, he turned ah. the most universally beloved comic of all time into a completely polarizing movie. <laughs> Watchmen. Yeah. 
You've read the dark satirical comic. Now get ready for the movie adaptation that transforms the complex characters and grounded realistic action into a gory version of The Matrix in a film that Watchmen creator Alan Moore described as regurgitated worms. Yep. Then again, the guy worships a snake, so take it with a grain of salt. When it comes to my spiritual beliefs, that's perhaps why I worship a second century human-headed snake god called Glycon. Stare in awe as Snyder's yeah, gorgeous shots that. carry that you through an good. overstuffed plot where yep. a dense 13 chapter series is crammed into a single movie full of so many story threads it feels like marathoning an entire season of Lost. Don't you leave me! At the I same time. That. Yeah. 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 Meet dark inversions of heroes you know and love who do their best to fight crime and maintain an erection. What's wrong? Oh, hell. Like the comedian who's Captain America, if he were a dick. Rorschach, who's Batman, if he were a dick. And Dr. Manhattan, who's Superman, if he were a dick, who always had his dick hanging out. Seriously, always. Full frontal duty. So many dicks. There were only three dick shots in the entire comic. An animator had to spend hours getting the dick's way just right. I'd move on, but it's really hard to focus on anything when there's a big blue dick on the screen. <laughs> Experience Jackie Earl Haley's spot-on performance as a smelly hobo who hates hands. Yep. Yeah. Lie again, Lolik. I break another finger. As he shines alongside a cast that does their comic book counterparts justice, despite some on-the-nose dialogue. I should have had that abortion. Battle person makeup. I'm 67 years old. And the presence of Malin Ackerman. You want me to see things your way? Go ahead. Show me. Do that thing you do. We don't normally like to call out actors, and she seems like a really nice person and all, but this is just, ugh. I have a real name I've been using a couple years now. Try it. She makes Matthew Good look okay. <laughs> oh. Prepare for a two hour and 40 minute movie that's closer to two without all the slow-mo. True. Yeah. Full of everything Zack Snyder carried over into his next two DC movies, like Rain. Sex. Ramping slow motion. Jesus allegories. Graphic violence. Apocalyptic dream sequences. And justifying the destruction of a major metropolis. Killing millions. To save billions. But if that's not Damn. snidery yep. enough, check out a director's cut that adds more graphic violence. Whoa. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. More sex. And more Jesus allegories. Is that Jesus? But if even no, that's no, not Snyder no, enough, spring for the ultimate edition, <laughs> where two characters who don't like each other come to the shocking realization that they have the same name. You know, all this time you've been coming here, I, I never caught your name. Bernard. That's my name, too. <laughs> uh, so that's where he got it from. Why did you say that name? <laughs> so get ready for one of the oh, most self-serious films ever made that keeps shoehorning in a happy face and features some of the most depressing humorless characters in Phil arguing over what is and isn't a joke. That's the real joke. I can never tell when you're joking. It's a joke. I heard joke once. My life is just one big joke. The greatest no. practical joke in human history. That's the real practical joke. Good joke. Everybody laugh. Huh? huh? Starring <laughs> Harvey Birdman, <laughs> Homeless Man, Man, <laughs> Silk Spectra, The Killing Joke, oh. Max Headwound, <laughs> Zack Snyder making Zack Snyder references, yep. Yep. foreshadowing Elon Musk, and don't you know, I'm Electro, <laughs> Dr. Manhattan, yeah. or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Dog. <laughs> I'll bet Dr. Manhattan would have won Vietnam even sooner if he'd taken that thong off. Talk about intimidation. Balls. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Balls. Trailers. I have oh, no man. father. I was brought to life by Zeus. <laughs> my scratchy squirrel voice has nothing on my sexy buttery cow wow. voice. Oh dear. Okay. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. <laughs> monster monster trucks featuring Bigfoot and Smogzilla. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 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 Be, there. Be there. You're gonna lose there. I'm not locked in here with you. That was good. You're, You're locked, locked in here with me. One my brother says a lot. Journal, October 12th, 1895. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Tonight, a comedian yeah, died in New York. 1895? Uh, what the hell? Wait a minute. <laughs> what in hell?
Oh, um, man. Yeah. That that scene where he throws the where he throws the the fry grease, oh. the boiling hot yeah. fry grease. Yeah. Holy. Oh fuck. man. And, and the searing sound and the screaming of yeah. the guy, just dead silence. And ah, ah. Yup. I was like, yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. The you, the funniest moment for me was I, I watched that at the midnight premiere, and there was this dude in the back. Who had been making comments the whole movie? Who had been making comments the whole movie? It didn't Mystery bother Science me. Science theory, yeah, the whole did, thing. Yeah, yeah, it didn't bother me. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> he goes uh, right when that, right when that fry grease gets thrown on the guy, he goes, "Damn, that brother gonna be extra crispy." <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> the entire theater just busts a nut laughing. <laughs> Oh, I was just like, that oh, that sounds my painful. Uh, <laughs> woo. Um, oh, man. I had never wow. in my life uh, during a movie laughed so well, other than uh, it wasn't actually during a movie. It was during a, it was during a preview. Uh, it was uh, for Star Wars Episode Two, uh, Attack of oh, the Clones. No. And right before the movie came on, there was a preview for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, and my no. friend, my friend who I was with, uh, his name, uh, his, it's you're gonna think it is someone who we who we know, but it's actually someone. Uh, his name is uh, Jesse Counts. Uh, his name's uh, ah. Jesse. Uh, we went into the movie and uh, we. Uh, it was about ten minutes past midnight. We were and everyone was like like upset that the movie wasn't on yet. Ooh. And right when uh, right when the movie started up, or right when the preview started up, Angelina Jolie stri- uh, she has a trench coat on. She strips down and she's in that uh, in that uh, like that tight rubber onesie. Yeah, like that. And, and her boobs are popping out the top. Jesse stands up in the middle of the theater, points at the screen, <laughs> and goes, "Tilly's." <laughs> Everyone died, and I was and I sunk lower into my seat than I'd ever done in my entire life. Like I don't know him, I don't know him. I I'd probably run run if one of y'all did that to me in the theater. <laughs> I would like be like, I'm sorry, good luck everybody else, and just run out. <laughs> I couldn't hold it in. You I don't was, get it, do you? Oh gosh. <laughs> But they're not locked in here no. with you. You're locked in here with them and just run. <laughs> they're t- but those two times in a movie theater. <laughs> that's the two times I've never laughed so hard in my whole life in a movie theater. I um <laughs> I I was I was told a story there's a guy I went to college with and it was um, Oh no. Uh the Golden Compass uh-huh. where like oh, there's God. like the, the ice bear fight and so the one tears the other one's jaw off. Right after that happened um because he's like, because uh, the, the one's like beating the crap out of him. He's like, is that it? And then he stands up and he rips his jaw off. And he's like, that is it. And then he, my so my buddy stands up right after that and goes, and I did it with my bare hands. <laughs> he, he said, there was, yes! there was a similar, yes! there was a similar reaction from the rest of the theater. <laughs> I did it with, with my bare hands. Oh! Oh God! Which I I really hope and pray that someone did that in the Nick Cage Wicker Man at some point in the theater when it came out, where he punches that girl in the bear suit. With my bare hands. I did it with my bare, and he did it with his bare hands, and I did it with my bare hands. Don't mind me. Damn it! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, that's a gut busting good time. Oh gosh. Oh my stomach! I can't. I can barely contain myself. Oh, Jesus! Wow! You know, wow. I I will say I feel like this was a movie that had Zack Snyder involvement that was, I mean, still pretty successful and well, well executed. This and Three Hundred, I, I I like Three Hundred pretty good. In terms, Which, I mean, Three Hundred is hard to screw up because I mean, with the source material, I mean. You basically have to do it shot for shot. I mean, the story's not complicated. Right? No, yeah. it's not. Yeah, really. This I mean, is a very complicated story that, in some ways, simplified it in a better way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but honestly, a movie that did that really well, I think, was um, the Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, yes, um, with Guy Pearce and Guy, uh, Jim Caviezel. Mm-hmm, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was. I that was freaking really good. love that movie, and honestly, it's it's simplified because the book is just 
Yeah, immense. crazy. In, it's immense. It's absolutely insane. Well, you have I to do... I wish you hadn't mentioned 300. Why? Oh. He knows. We'll we... explain it to you later. Nope, we're doing it. Are we? This is... This oh, is shit. Our honest movie experience with what did I, what, Oh, God, what have I unleashed? Our, oh, our, no. Our, our really good friend, basically like our third musketeer, all yep. from running around through all high school and college and stuff. Oh, yep. gosh. Is, he this, bought, the man, he is bought, this the man, the myth, yes, the legend? The, yes. yes. Yes, God. He, he, yep. bought, he bought a giant popcorn. Well, there's a hole in the bottom. <laughs> well, so. no, 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 no. He bought the giant popcorn, and he had them put like five times the yes. extra butter. Like on he it. had them like oh. put in like 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 put, douse like, it with butter. Like yeah, like popcorn. Uh, brown like, it. Like popcorn layer, then butter. Popcorn layer, then butter. Popcorn layer, then butter. Wow, yeah. that's. And so it all leaked out in a hole in the bottom, all over his crotch. But so see, here's the thing: he didn't know about it during no the idea. movie. So we go walking out of the theater. It's like crotch and all down the inside of his thighs. Just oh. so and, and it's just like, oh, no. And he's just <laughs> like, you know what? I'm just going to own it. He's like, I'm rocking this. And and so we walk into a restaurant right near the theater. Yep. Oh, God, no. And there's a small child. Oh. And now, uh, we weren't just waiting to be seated. We were. He was waiting to be seated like this. He <laughs> was. He was spread eagle. <laughs> just like, what's up? And what's and this small child oh, no. comes up and looks and is just so horribly confused. And he immediately <laughs> goes from so proud to, oh God, what have I done? <laughs> that is the only time I have seen him have shame. <laughs> the man butter incident. Yep. The man butter has now, incident. As it has become known. It's now infamous as the man butter incident. <laughs> A year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and on that bombshell, oh, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Get out of here. Just, just go. Save yourself. Yep. Uh, my head hurts. <laughs>